Hi, this is Cindy from Part-Time Permies, and today we're going to continue to work on our tractor coop. We have to finish our wall, uh, put some corrugated plastic along the side, some uh, frame, uh, some wire around the, the front end, put the doors on. Uh, I think the doors will probably end up being the next video, uh, but we'll see how far we get with this one. So that's the job today. I did earlier go to run a few errands, so I was able to pick up the corrugated roofing um, and some extra wood and some hardware as well uh, and so I need to unload that and then we'll get going on the coop itself. Okay so we brought all that in. Um, what I ended up buying was about 10 8 foot lengths of corrugated plastic. I was hoping for 10 foot lengths and I would have only bought like eight of them. And last time I went to Lowe's they had 10 foot lengths, but today they only had eight foot and 12 foot of everything, which is kind of annoying because I can't fit 12 foot lengths in my car. And I kind of, 10 foot would have been ideal, but we'll deal with what we have. I bought, um, I think it was nine one by twos and that's to help frame out the roofing pieces. Kind of have an idea of how I'm going to put that together and see if it works. Um, and the whole idea is I need to be able to get into that with one person. So we'll see how that goes. Um, we'll play with it. But that will be next, next week projects. Um, today I'm going to be focusing on the walls. Uh, so I do need some of that corrugated plastic for the sidewalls, uh, for parts of that. Um, I already had the hardware cloth and I'll continue to use what I have on that. So I, I didn't actually purchase it for this job in, in particular, but um, that would have been extra expenses. Got some more hardware. I got some roofing nails with the plastic washers on them. I like using those for the corrugated plastic and sometimes I use them for the um, hardware cloth as well because those big plastic washers hold it in place pretty nicely. Um, and only one inch nails uh, which are easier to drive in and won't stick through the wood I have because I don't need to be scraping up my birds. But um, so I picked up some of those. I have I had a handful but I was a little concerned I didn't have enough for this project. They look a little corny at first, but what I found on my other projects when I used it on my nursery coops, that the washers tend to wash out in the sunlight. They bleach out. So they actually turn white after a season of use and blend in with the white corrugated roofing. So, I mean, you don't see these orange dots anymore after about a year of use. Um, so, and I also picked up a few more latches. We'll see. Uh, my idea is to be able to use those for the roof uh, material uh, to, to hold the roof down. So I'm, I have to see how many I have total. Uh, hopefully I have enough for the whole project, but if not, I could get more of those. So what we'll start with is the wall. What I'm going to do is pull these out. work my way out. So what we'll do is 
use this for leverage to pull the 2x4 out. Just a bit. So that this is now flush. measuring over two feet four inches idea being well if I take two feet for the uh, wire I put a board here at uh, two feet four inches I'll run the wire all the way up to that the corrugated roofing will end up being um, four four inches under six feet so what is that five feet and eight inches um, that we will need this way I'll have uh, about 28 inches left that gives me a little bit of leeway to be able to use the scrap on the end vertically so that's basically where I'm placing my next vertical Okay, so the other question that my dad and I had was if we really need to do any diagonal bracing on this because as we went, we found this is actually holding quite strong. And the other thought is that the way we're moving this is not actually even putting pressure on the wood frame. Um, if it was the chickshaw setup, that that setup would actually put more pressure on this wood frame because you're actually pulling it by the wood frame on this setup we have this trailer that we're attached to so really the, when we move this the only thing we're um, putting pressure on is the metal frame everything else is just riding on top and since this seems quite solid and the more we attach to it the more solid it's going to get with all the uh you know wiring and walls and stuff so I'm thinking we could get away with not doing any angle bracing on this because this is actually quite solid. When I shift it, the whole thing is shifting. It's not just this piece up here. Um, so I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm not going to worry about any uh, diagonals on this uh, for support because I think we're okay with them as it is. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to be a couple feet short. That's too bad. But I do have some other scraps laying around, so maybe I could just put another vertical board where this ends and use some of the scraps to fill in the last section. I might have to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to nail it one nail up here in the corner and then um, line it up to the far corner and stretch it out and make sure it's all in line. Put it one nail there and we'll work our way around keeping it level because I don't have someone to hold it up for me. So I'm not gonna worry about trying to hold the entire thing up at, with the first nail. We'll use the nail to hold it for me. this to line it up but I think that's good
just wanted to show you how close we were to making it to here. That's too bad. I knew I was going to be a little short, but um, and I'm. What I'll do is I'll just put a vertical here, hammer it in. I wonder if I can find a clamp because I don't have enough hands. Okay, so all my clamps are in the basement. So we're gonna rig something up so I don't have to run downstairs. And go get those. extra hand or should I just take this one out and make my door this wide forget filling in the gap I still need a piece on the end but maybe we just make the door wider so what my door is a little over two feet okay so if I'm correct this piece probably is not gonna work for this section Unless I put an extra vertical in it, um, but I might have some scrap hardware cloth. It would re really be too bad to have to open up my another roll just for a piece this big. But we'll see what we do. Go that way. Now I could do what I was thinking over there. And go this way twice. Could do that. And put a second vertical in again to nail to but or just scoot this up and then I have to cut my corrugated piece a little bit longer really I don't need that much on the back end for the corrugated pieces so I yeah. maybe I'll just shift this up to fit this it's not shifting it very far Yeah, why not? Not perfectly symmetrical, but it's not cabinetry either. And I did this whole thing with one four foot width roll, 25 feet long. And I do have a decent amount of extra, although it's uh, a little less than two feet wide. So <laughs> if I need any for small spaces anywhere else.
one wall down and the corner piece at the back. I'm actually gonna adjust this door. It got cut out of the last video, so um, mainly because we were having problems. We were tired at the end of the day. But what I'll do is I'll cut it down so that it fits just inside the frame here so that um, I can have it more flush here. walls. Uh, I have one little gap over in the end. The scrap from this section will more than fill that gap. I don't think I have much left. Ramp, doors, roof, nesting section. That's it. Well, sun's getting low, so I'm going to say good night for now and we'll see you in with the next video.